Getting on this Greyhound downtown Toronto. Have a 1.3 kilometer walk to Union Station. Now boarding the Up Express to the Pearson Airport. I think these chairs will be my bed for the night. Just cleared security. Currently boarding the first of two planes to BC, baby. It is 1.42 p.m. Eastern Time. Finally landed here in Victoria. I have a grandpa that lives here, and unfortunately, because he lives here, I don't get to see him a lot, but I'm so grateful and privileged to be able to come out here and meet him. Excited to see him right now. Oh, Great shine. to finally see you. <laughs> first things first here in BC, we're gonna go shoot some guns. So we're gonna shoot 222s. Called a CZ nine millimeter. You like the kick on that? Oh, so the cans are the bigger. At least twelve hundred, twelve hundred. Well, successful trip to the shooting range. Look at that grouping right there. That's good times. I've never done something like that before. <laughs> It's now February 1st, typical rainy BC, raining every day in the winter, but still beautiful nonetheless. Green everywhere, the cloudy, misty fog actually gives a nice, nice backdrop on the mountains. No better place to be in winter, that's for sure. We're here at Stony Hill Regional Park, uh, just going for a little walk. It's amazing to me the amount of trails here in BC on the island where we are and how well they're built and maintained. As you absolutely cannot tell, this is a beautiful view of overlooking the ocean. And don't go too close to the edge. Yeah, I guess this moss is probably slippery, yeah. but I gotta do it for the camera. Okay, yeah, we're pretty high up here. Woo! Wow. This is like the edge of the world. Over there is Burial Island. Where the natives buried the Oh, right dead. there? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Salt Spring. <laughs> okay. Salt Spring Island over yeah. there? Yeah, okay. That's Arthritis Ridge. Arthritis Ridge. There's a big retirement community we call Arthritis Ridge. It's actually Arbutus Ridge. <laughs> Just beyond that on the horizon yeah. are the Olympic Mountains. Oh, yeah, look at yeah. them. They're all snow covered. Yeah. I love these Arbutus trees. Oh, they look. They beautiful? They're so smooth looking. Yeah. This one's name is Sam. And almost everybody that have come up here with us, uh, we've taken their picture in that one over there. Ah, uh, just a beautiful short little walk there. I just couldn't imagine living in a place like this where you have trails like that all around you. Definitely would love to be out here someday. And it would have been an even more beautiful walk if Jenna had been with us. Yes, absolutely. Now having a stop here in Genoa Bay, looking at some houses I'm really interested in. I almost want to say dream houses. I'd, I'd certainly love to try one of these houses out one day. They're called uh, floating homes. Look how amazing this house is. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> they can build them as they go along. As they, they have want. money they can just expand. Oh that is so cool. That's so cool. There's another house but this one is really neat looking. Boat house which has a massive boat right in there. Yeah. And a full apartment house on top. That is quite amazing. This is a nice little small one. I like that. Well, it's got a huge imagine that was your deck. Yeah, looking out at that every morning Just something that's so intriguing to me about walking out your front door to this that just makes these homes like ah, I just want one now. We're here at this lookout uh, we're, on, we're just on the way home from Whistler if you guys haven't checked out that video, links in the description. But uh, this lookout is, is incredible. Valley in front of us, mountains over there, mountains over there, mountains over there. Now uh, back to the island. Be easy, you're just choking yourself. <laughs> Hello, <Porsche>. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. Good girl. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Porsche is very excited. Hello. <laughs> Porsche, you want to go for a walk? I'm going to go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Come on. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> 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 
So remember like 10 days ago, which is a few clips ago for you guys, we were at this viewpoint and you couldn't see anything because it was foggy. Well, we're back at this viewpoint and it is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Portia, what do you think of these views? What do you think of the views, buddy? Pretty, pretty, eh? Portia? Portia? What really amazes me about this view is it is February the 10th and uh, everyone back at home in Ontario is having a fun negative 22 with blizzards every day. And in BC, in the same country, you can be out here, I think it's like probably positive five right now. Absolutely gorgeous out. This is a very secluded point. That might be a, a nice, nice date to go on a picnic or something. I would like that. Very careful. Smell it. Guys, take a look at how perfect this apartment is my grandpa built under his house. We got a shower, toilet, sink, another sink, washer, dryer, bed, cupboards, and then right outside this door, you get this gorgeous view. And then right down here, right through the backyard, down some stairs, and right outside this apartment, you got this beautiful rock beach on a bay right on the ocean. Can't get over how perfect this this property is. To walk just down those stairs and be here, unbelievable. And actually this beach is normally way bigger, but the tide is in right now. That is one big boat. We're for another walk. Uh, this trail is a bit steep. Poppy's struggling. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to sleep. Here in, on Vancouver Island, in about a three minute drive, you can get to 20 different hiking spots, and they all have uh, gorgeous views. Incredible! I don't have good zoom, but that is a big eagle right there. Oh, hey, you made it! Sort of. <laughs> Half of me's up here. <laughs> now entering Poppy's Marina. Really fascinates me to live on a boat one day. You're paying around $400 a month. You got electricity, you got water, you got all you need. How many lives on that boat? What I was thinking of doing is buying a boat that has a blown motor, so it's super cheap, and then that's my house. Like, you could probably get a boat like this for 30,000? <laughs> no. It has a great big area down below where the bedrooms are, but it also has this area up above. You've got a living room, dining room, kitchen, Oh, beautiful. You can sit yeah. out there, yeah. watch the sunrise. Yeah. Oh my god. And then you have an upper deck, too. Yeah. So this boat has two motors, $50,000, plus about $400 a month to park it with electricity and water. That sounds pretty damn cheap to me. Here's Poppy's beautiful boat called the Tribute. Shower, sink, toilet, big bed, couch, couch, steering wheel, new stove, old stove, sink. sink. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go upstairs. Look at this, you got a beautiful rooftop deck. And look at your neighbors, a bunch of anemones. So we are currently deep in the forest and all of a sudden there's this wall of, of rocks and cliffs. Looks like somebody set up an amazing mountain bike drop here. It's not an established trail or anything. But I'm sure somebody just built this for some kind of video or photo shoot. A bit worrisome walking on this right now. That doesn't look very solid, how that stick is just sitting on that rock. So you come off here, drop right in. Woo! That's pretty crazy. <laughs> so we made it to this incredible cave that uh, used to be inhabited by the natives. Wow. So here is a fireplace and that's where the smoke would escape. Super neat in here. Welcome to the Maple Bay Marina. Boat mar market looks pretty good here. I could totally live on this boat. That's a big bedroom, that's a bathroom. Look at the beautiful living room with full-size fridge, stove, sink, and there would be another bedroom and washroom under here. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's even a barbecue on the top deck right there. Rowboat. So that boat I was showing you was is listed for 55,000. It runs, so 
not only could you live on it, you could actually drive it around. We're now entering the float home community. Pretty excited for this. These are pretty expensive float homes though. Um, just about as much as any regular house would be, like 200, 300,000. Oh, these are so cool. <laughs> Look at that house. They only sell to very nice people. So I'm sure that would be a pretty nice view way up there. Looking over this beautiful marina and mountains. Ah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. So look at this beautifully sized house. You have a massive, massive deck. Got your little boat attached. I'm just so impressed by this lifestyle. One deck on the water, one deck on the second level, deck on the roof, deck on this side of the roof. So I don't know if you guys can see, but that right there is a hot tub. How nice would that be? Looks like this guy had a bad day. Now our adventures have brought us to Trestle 66. It is an old train bridge that we're on right now that I think is pretty high above the river here. Wow. How high are we above the river? 150 feet. Probably deep enough that if you dove off, you wouldn't hit the bottom, but we don't know. I think you'd be fine for sure. Oh guys, back here at the airport, that was an amazing trip. Not only is this place absolutely beautiful, it was so nice to spend time with family I haven't seen in a while. Make sure you guys tune in a couple weeks, be somewhere warm.